whether one is purified or unpurified, or even having passed through all circumstances of life, one who remembers the beautiful lotus eyed Supreme Personality of Godhead becomes purified from within and without. We chant this verse because it is not only the essential purpose of initiation, but it is the ultimate purpose of life. It is said in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadya Kabunoi, Sravanadi Sudhicheti Koriye Udoi. That pure love for Krishna is within the heart of every living being. Jivera Swarupoi, Krishnara Nitya Das. We are all eternal loving servants of the Lord. However, since time immemorial, we have forgotten our eternal identity. Covered by the cloud of the illusory energy, Maya, we have lived in darkness. What is that darkness? The darkness of ignorance. Not knowing who we are or our relationship with God. In that darkness we have engaged in various materialistic activities due to this misconception that has bound us karmically to deeper and deeper regions of such ignorance. In such a condition we are helpless. We are actually helpless. We have misused our free will and put ourselves in such a predicament. But Krishna is so kind. Yada yada hi dharamasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutanam dharamasya tadatmanam srijam yaham. He descends to this world again and again in various forms displays his eternal pastimes, speaks eternal scripture, and sends his beloved devotees to remind us of what will really bring auspicious life and happiness. Therefore we chant this beautiful prayer, Om Agyan Timidandasya Gyananjana Chalakaya Chakshur unmilitam jena tasmai sri guru venamaha. That we are in ignorance, we are in darkness. Unless one is willing to accept that fact, one is not receptive to the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord is always coming upon all living beings. But how receptive are we? There must be humility, there must be a sense of submissiveness to receive. Bhagavad Gita teaches that principle. Arjuna was far more learned than anyone today. And he was exalted in every sense. When he thought he knew what was right for him, he was not receptive. Therefore, the Lord did not even speak. Krishna just patiently, silently listened to Arjuna. Until Arjuna came to the conclusion that he was in the darkness of ignorance, that he needed help that was beyond himself. Karpanya doso pahata swabhava prachchamitvam dharma samudha cheha I am confused. I do not know what is to be done. I've lost all composure due to weakness. Now I am your disciple, Krishna. Please instruct me. 
Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur explained that in reality one cannot actually approach a spiritual master unless one is in a frame of mind that we give up our faith in material life, that we really want something else, not something more, something else. When we come to that conclusion, then we are in a state by which we can actually receive the mercy of Krishna flowing through the Guru Parampara. Therefore, Krishna taught all of us through his intimate devotee, Arjun. Srila Prabhupada often said, initiation is not the goal. Initiation is the beginning of the path. Previous to committing ourselves, we are preparing to begin. The preparation is all important because if we are not properly prepared, we will not be in the proper state of mind to actually begin. But to initiate means to begin. At the time of initiation, we take vows. We make commitment. Why? It's so easy to just not go through the botheration of vows and commitments in life. Because materially, just to survive, we have so many commitments we have to take care of. Why take lifelong commitments? Because that would, that's what it really means to be serious about your spiritual life. When we commit ourselves to the degree of the sincerity of our commitment, Krishna reciprocates through Guru and Vaishnavas to bestow their causeless mercy and strength into our hearts. So yes, it is very important. If there's anything that Prabhupada stressed so much, it's being sincere. He stressed that we should chant Hare Krishna, we should follow these four regulative principles with sincerity. Sincerity means without hypocrisy, without duplicity, with a genuine aspiration, or at least the genuine desire for that aspiration. Sincerity means we're not making a show. We're not doing that out of ritualistic superstition. We're not doing it simply because it's the tradition that we should follow for social purposes. Sincerity means from our heart, we want. We want to follow. We want to learn. We want Krishna. And we're willing to honestly and earnestly follow the directions of Krishna coming through parampara. Sincerity means willingness to sacrifice because nothing great comes without sacrifice in this world. Sacrifice in the sense that we're willing to put aside our own desires, our own aspirations to pursue the will of God. To take that risk, to make that commitment and to live in that spirit of sacrifice is actually a joyful life. Because it's a life where we can feel, experience in reality the divine grace of the Supreme Personality of God. Listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.